how do I start this? Yeah, this should be fun. When I was 12, well, let's just say I wasn't the smartest kid in the world. That's the only excuse I can give for why this event happened, sadly. I wasn't smart. My siblings and I were hanging out in our barn on one lovely day, and no, I do not live on a farm or anything. We just have a barn, because if we find anything we don't know what to do with, we just kinda, you know, throw it in the barn. We even have an old piano in there if you ever feel like making high quality music. I mean, yeah, one of the main keys on the piano is stuck and doesn't work, but you don't need that key to play super loud music that literally everyone in the area can hear. <laughs> throw a concert, I'm sure the neighbors will love it. Anyway, we were in the barn just hanging out when I came up with this genius plan. You see, in this barn, there are wooden planks just below the roof to give support to the roof, I, I think? I don't really know. I, I don't know much about building or what every single little wooden plank is for. The, the only building I've ever done is Lego houses when I was like four, so that's as far as my my building skills go, because that's different. Note, these wooden planks were high up above rocks on one side of the barn and concrete on the other, so if some idiot were to for some reason climb up there and fall off, they could get severely injured, and if you fell on your head, there was that possible chance of death. But, you know, no one's supposed to go up there, so this shouldn't be a concern, right? Yeah, that's, that's how it should have been. I looked at my sister, who was always the smart one, <laughs> unlike me. Wouldn't it be fun to walk on those wooden planks? She seemed almost angry when I asked this question. She was like, uh, no, that, that's a stupid idea, and it was. But there in that moment, I had set my heart on walking on those wood planks. Why? Because it apparently looked fun. Not sure how, but just accept that it somehow looked fun. I looked around the room, searching for something to climb. The walls failed. Probably should have expected that, because climbing the wooden planks on the walls, like, that's not exactly the easiest thing. The ladders weren't very stable when I tried balancing them on the rocks. I should have expected that too, but I was stupid. Nothing seemed to be working in my favor. Any smart person in this situation would quit, but nope. I was determined to do this. I was going to find a way to get into the roof for some odd reason, and that was final. <laughs> Nothing was going to stop me, even though I honestly wish something did. I then noticed amongst all of the random junk in the barn, my cousin's soccer goal was sitting there on the rocks. You're probably sitting there thinking, please do not tell me you were dumb enough to climb the soccer goal just to get stuck in a roof. Well, guess what I did? Yeah, I climbed a soccer goal just to get stuck in the roof. I climbed the net, balanced on top of the unstable goal, reached for the wooden plank, and managed to pull myself up into the roof of the barn. I walked to the middle of the roof where the planks weren't as narrow, and then I just kind of stood there. And you're probably thinking, did you experience the fun you dreamed of having when you accomplished your goal? No. Because looking down on the rocks and seeing I didn't have a safe way down, I then realized that my genius idea wasn't as genius as I thought it was. In fact, it had no point whatsoever. It was stupid. By the time I realized that, I was hopelessly standing on the roof. I probably should have realized that a lot sooner. I stood there looking down at my younger siblings. Being the oldest, I'm supposed to set the example. They're supposed to see me as the wise one? I guess, I guess that's what I'm supposed to be. They just stood there looking up at their sister and they're probably thinking something like, yeah, this is the role model we were given. Yeah, I hope she falls off the wooden planks and suffers. <laughs> Just kidding, that's probably not what they were thinking. Hopefully. My younger brother told me that the best way for me to try and get out of the situation was for me to jump onto this floaty tube thing we used for sledding. Yeah! Thanks, bro. I'm just gonna jump out of the roof and assume that I will perfectly land on the tube without bouncing off and cracking my skull on the rocks. I agree. That is the best and safest way for me to get out of this situation. At least he cared enough to try and help me, though. My other brother, after 30 minutes of me helplessly standing there, decided to get one of my parents, which seemed like a smarter idea than the tube. While he was gone, my sister... She was just mad at me, and to be completely honest, she probably had a right to be. Yeah, I heard my dad's truck driving up the hill, and my heart pounded. I thought my dad would look at my stupidity and be mad at me. I didn't want to see his reaction. But when he drove into the barn, he just got out of his truck, looked up at me, and, and just laughed. And then he helped me after laughing at my dumb decision. So in the end, I survived, which was nice. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that story because I have plenty more coming because like I said in the last video I have a list because I've just been in a lot of situations. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd tell this one first because I know how much this story annoys my sister and that was kind of mean but 
you know, it's it's great. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a fabulous, amazing, perfectly great day. Bye.